when you know how to drive the senses, then you are a pilot. You have never moved any time and you are not moving at all. That place you have to sit quietly and let the senses move, let the world move and you are not moving. That you have to know and who Whoever has known it, he has won freedom. Let there be peace and love among all beings of the universe. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaskar. Namaskar. Welcome. Self-effort and faith is very important. <clears throat> we should speak about self-effort because some people believe in faith of some outer agency, faith on God's or divine will, and some rely on the self-effort. I don't think could be, there could be any result without self-effort. There is no clash what we often speak. If there is disagreement, you can speak about First of all, consciousness alone is. There is nothing else, only consciousness. There is no trouble except to believe this in consciousness. There is nothing without consciousness. But now, due to the tendencies of the mind, dormant tendency. <clears throat> there are two kinds, pure, impure. So those who have got pure tendencies, they are led to perform good actions and also this is one of the result of the pure tendencies of the mind to even come to satsang and work for freedom. This is the result of pure tendencies. Impure t tendencies are destructive, leading you to mischief. If you are here tonight for satsang, this shows you have purity of mind, your tendencies are pure. There is no doubt about it. Therefore, you are working for freedom and you have to beat on with this effort intense effort 
actual freedom because your purities of the tendencies have impelled you to come here therefore you have not to waste time but to accelerate your journey towards freedom this is the natural tendencies of the mind to divert to impurity even without any effort the mind is slipping back to mischief and lead you to impurities and destruction i don't think you can pinpoint anything anything anyone who is successful in the world without self effort take for instance even olympics if someone has one goal for 100 meters ben johnson <laughs> 9 9.76 seconds <laughs> is it due to any faith he must have done tremendous effort at the back to have this world record not simply believing on faith or divine will and lying on the bed he cannot run 100 meters this is one thing another thing now for freedom also there was one king he wanted to attain brahmanhood he worked for long time penance yet he is not accepted that he has achieved total freedom he spent many years most of his life he has spent in contemplations meditations in the forest whenever he will go to one sage yet he will not approve he was very angry with this sage because he is not accepting he has rejected his kingdom and he has got nothing he goes to the forest only for freedom and day and night he is spending his time for contemplation yet this sage is not accepting him as completely totally free so he became he was a king so anger somehow was buried to take revenge from people who don't listen to him so he has done away with the sons kill the sons of this sage he had his sons and he had his wife wife also free intelligent and both used to speak about one day it was full moon night and his wife is telling look at the beauty of the moon full moon he said no what is this beauty of the full moon most beautiful person in the world is this man who is performing contemplation and meditation for freedom and who is also a, a murderer who has killed his sons there is no one in comparison to this man what about this man who has killed his sons and he is praising that person and this man now finally has come he is hiding to kill the sage sage himself this man is now listening behind the bushes 
he has come that day to kill the sage himself because he doesn't find anything that is missing in freedom. He doesn't know. Who knows your own drawbacks? He is going to kill this man and then become the first person in the world that he is totally free now by killing this sage. And look at this sage who says, at his back, he has not seen him. He is the most beautiful person. And listening to this, his bow and arrow fell from his hand. Listening to this place, look at this man. This is sagehood. <coughs> and what am I doing? <laughs> and then he prostrated before this man. And now he called him, you are Brahm Rishi, you have attained Brahmanhood, you are totally free. So how these impure tendencies are dormant in one's mind, no one knows. And sage is a sage, you see. Like this, the impure tendencies are hiding somewhere. When the circumstances are there, then it comes up, you see. So many people are here, those who often speak. We are quite all right, and then sometimes we drift back to our old tendencies. They need intense practice intense effort not to shake even for a second, you see, and work for your own freedom with total, your total strength of mind and devote yourself to practice till the goal is reached intense effort is needed. Therefore, tonight I am speaking about self-effort, you see. There is no work which has been achieved. If someone has been successful in his exam because of self-effort. And divine faith or any kind of depending on any God is not going to help you out regency, instructions of the teacher, then you have to follow the instructions, then even then you need to put it into practice and effort is needed. Do not rest until you are successful. This is called self-effort. Everybody believed in self-effort, so now I allow you <laughs> <laughs> to make self-effort. <laughs> if you don't believe effortlessness, <laughs> if I speak, even I speak effortlessness, they say this is also effort. <laughs> this is also kind of effort, all that. Now I agree to you. Now, because I am interested with the result, effort or no effort. <laughs> now it is your time. I will try one more week now with effort. <laughs> and she, then don't speak when I say no effort and no thinking. You can think a lot. And you can do that. <laughs> Make as much effort you like, and I will keep quiet. I want results. I want result. If you want to win a gold, run 100 meters, even you don't make effort or make effort, but you must win the gold. That's my <laughs> intention. I want that you win gold this time and don't go empty-handed to your country, what they will think. Why did you, <laughs> Why did you go? 
to the Olympics, but why did you go to the Olympics? <laughs> you go with the gold and the country is going to honor you, isn't it? Everybody will honor you. <laughs> so do whatever you <laughs> Three enlightened ones. <clears throat> I am postponing still. I wonder why. <clears throat> I am still so in love with the Leela. This morning, the thought came, I am not ready, I must first be more beautiful for the beloved. Is it a good excuse? <laughs> Only the best will do or will do or your grandson. Anumiti. Anumiti. Where is Anumiti? This what is Amrita? This is a female yeah, name. Anumiti. Anumiti is a female name and she writes grandson as you know. Chill, sit down, sit down, sit down, go back. Enough place. Hmm? So if you want to postpone, you can keep on postponing. Mind wants you to postpone and mind means postponement. So when you get tired with the minds, with the minds vagaries and tricks, then you come to me, okay? Who stops you? Mind is one thing, listen to the mind, and if you are not tired in all these millions of years, then you come to, come here and I will show you something more beautiful, you see. And then you want to be more beautiful, <coughs> instantly you can be beautiful, just now you can be beautiful. <coughs> Just now, I tell you, you will be most beautiful. How? Don't go to the graveyard. Don't think of the past and you are beautiful, you see. How can you be beautiful living in the grave? Hmm? Beauty is only don't touch the past, that's all. And this can be done if you don't postpone. You will be beautiful, you see. And you will be accepted by the beauty because this is the beauty. And how can you go with a dirty mind? You will not be accepted, you see. But I was thinking also the hmm? Leela is also an expression. Huh? That the Leela is an expression. What do you oh. mean by Leela? <coughs> what do you mean by Leela? What you call the dream? Lila means when you have received, when you have known yourself, when you have no past, present and future, and no person in your heart, not in the head, including on, your own self. Hmm? I'm not speaking of absence only, neither of presence only. No absence, no presence. No absence and no presence. Then you will be beautiful. How you can be beautiful just now, 
don't touch the past just now don't touch the man who is dead don't touch him because it smells isn't it already that smell is coming from your body how you will be accepted no <coughs> only beautiful can be accepted by the beauty and nothing dirt will come near if so dirt does, does around dirt exist eh? what does dirt exist what does dirt exist that dirt if dirt exists what is is dirt existing dirt is does it exist yes yes always yes. you smell dirt you see you smell dirt even now inside dirty outside dirty eyes dirty body dirty everything dirty what to tell you now why How to i don't understand this yes. i cannot understand this you cannot understand go in the pigs there there is a pig garbage <coughs> why they are there they like it no? and they don't understand what is cleanliness so much lost living in the dirt they seem very happy hmm? yeah. they seem very happy yes you also look very happy <laughs> yeah you look very happy otherwise you come away out of the dirt come away out of the dirt now i tell you the process are so one second it will take don't think of the garbage okay don't live with the pig and this pig is mind come on you have a pig inside your heart or no <laughs> tell me tell me there's a pig inside no <laughs> <laughs> send it out no <laughs> send out the pig <laughs> Tell him I'm not a piggy. You live with somebody else. I'm not a piggy. <laughs> Tell. <laughs> Send the pig away. Send the pig away. Pig is a mind. Where there's a mind, you smell dirty. You see. Why? Huh? Why? Why? It's a pig. <laughs> It's a pig. You smell. You smell the pig. outside the sasang hall you lift the tail and smell underneath okay <laughs> go on, have you done it or no <laughs> you have been doing this thing. <laughs> you have been doing this this is a little polite way otherwise <laughs> So tell me what do you decide now? <laughs> hmm? What have you decided to live with the pig? <laughs> tell me why you take time? <laughs> you see the pig's love is so strong. <laughs> Yeah, pig will not listen to anyone else. That is true. There was a sheep pig. There was very sh one sheep pig, and one saint asked him, one saint, compassionate. Compassion is the nature of a saint, isn't it? He says, "Oh, my dear mother," he addresses her mother to piggy, you know. <laughs> oh, mother piggy, you are very. in dirty circumstances it's all garbage and shit around you and you are eating shit all this you come out i will take you to a place and you will have only honey yogurt milk milk the saint promises you come with me he said she said is there any don't bluff me first of all you did not get anybody else in lucknow to bluff therefore you have come to this to bluff me and take me away from this pleasure garden you see i have got my children here and my husband also is also here look he is just <laughs> <laughs> 
And we are enjoying here, since the birth we are enjoying here, you see. And I have now twelve children, it is my twelfth season now. <laughs> yeah. And then you bluff with her, you can't bluff me now. And, but I can agree if you tell me, I question you now. Is there any garbage in that country where you want to take? No garbage now. It's a garden of flowers, honey to drink, milk and yogurt and all good satsang is going on. No, no. no. Then I will die. Then I will die. Wherever I don't smell shit, how can I live? No, that is the case. So is the attachment, and this whole samsara is the garbage, and the pigs are living there. Why? Why it exists then? Hmm? Why it exists? They like what? They like. Why they like? They like to, to eat shit, drink urine. Yes, why? They like it. So it's love. Eh? So you like small. it, otherwise, who, you come with me, I say, why do you refuse then? I promise you honey, <laughs> honey, milk. <laughs> honey, milk. Hmm? <laughs> then why don't you leave? Why don't you leave? I told you one second, you do leave this gutter, leave this sewage. Are you not living in sewages? Are you not living in a sewage? No. How you have, where did you come from? I don't know. From where? <laughs> and still you are in the sewage, you know. Do you understand the sewage, meaning of sewage? Thinking? Hmm? What? Thinking, attachment, what? Sewage means sewage, you see. <laughs> it's English word. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Yeah, you have not been told this word sewage. <laughs> so if you want to come to the heaven, you like sewage. That's all. You can't even get out of it, you see. No? Even for one second, I said, come out of one second. And you are like that piggy discussing, what about this thing? Is there any gutter sewage? in your garden in the heaven, you see. But has no occasion, okay, I trust you, I come with you, I come with you. She doesn't have to go, you see. So this is the quality of the pigs. They will remain pigs. Thirty-five million years they have remained in the garbage, and another two hundred million years they will be in the same garbage, will be available to them, there's no dearth of garbage, you see. But who aspires? Who aspires <laughs> to see the beauty, love of, it, of the self, see? instead of wasting time in the garbage? Cannot have in one second, leave the garbage, leave the sewage and go out and smell outside, you see. <laughs> so these are the symptoms of a person who is addicted to garbage. So. Even God Shiva comes in front, they will not listen, you see. God himself comes in front, they will not listen. These pigs are pigs, you see. Hmm? What have you decided now? Still, <laughs> still not listening, still not understanding, still not leaving the sewage. What? This girl is your sister only. She's also human. She's also a girl, young girl, even younger than you. Look at her eyes. Go and look. Sit in front of her. Perhaps she will help you. Go and sit. Go and sit there, just by, just a few inches back. <coughs> look her. Look her, first of all. You want to say what you do? Eh? Look, you, you look, look her. Nice. Look her. Perhaps she will help you. No? Look at this thing. She's also a girl, young girl, younger than you. Look at your face, look at her face. <laughs> if you can't believe, I have a mirror here. Bring the mirror here, you see. 
to see. Yes, yes. I I don't speak lies. I don't. I never spoke lie. But I I I don't fear to speak the truth unto the face of a person. Let them like. I let them dislike. You see your face and show your face to anybody. You see. And you will very well match if you go there outside the satsang hall. You will very well match there, you see. Why can't, if I say, look at her face, why can't you turn 45 degrees only, you see, to your right? <laughs> can't there. Can't there. <laughs> see? You come and sit here. Come here, sit down here, I give you honor. I give you honorable seat. Please sit here and see. You also come here. Come here, come here, come here. Yes, yes. Come on, the mirror is good. Shall sit here, sit here. You see yourself and decide. If you don't trust me, you decide, you see. Here is the mirror. Mirror is a mirror. He doesn't speak lies, no? <laughs> you see, no? What she look here? Look here, here, here. here, here, here. You see this, this girl, you see this girl. Not change. You keep <laughs> okay, very good. You want to go back? <laughs> no. Okay. Tell us. You go and sit with me. You see now. You see good now. Tell us. Let her meditate. No. <laughs> meditate. Meditate. You go now. Meditate. No. <laughs> Sit down here. Meditate. No. Here. <laughs> ah, like this time. <laughs> <laughs> who was the man who wanted blows? <laughs> 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 oh, well, you see the blows? <laughs> Look, 
<laughs> How comfortable she is now. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> but she had to dance now. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Tell, stand up. Stand up and dance now. No more. I am no more a piggy. I am no more a piggy. Come on. Dance. <laughs> Shunya, who is Shunya? Come here, have you heard the meaning of Shunya just now? Hmm? Huh? Okay, see. Just before coming to Lucknow, I dreamt about coming. <coughs> And in the dream, my body turned into a, into the body of a lion. Then I woke up. So in the dream you were <coughs> you became a lion, no? Yes. <coughs> you became a lion. Then when you woke up, before waking up, the lions have to roar, isn't it? <laughs> lions have to roar. And on waking up, what have you become? You say math. <laughs> yes, he writes. Now I am like a math. <laughs> this is not true. <laughs> you dreamt that you are a lion. And now lion has to roar. Otherwise, how do you know that you are a lion? You forgot roaring? <coughs> yes, yeah, Okay. No. Now you woke up now. Now you woke up, okay? While waking up, whom do you see? Moth or a lion? Hmm? The lion. Huh? The lion. Why you speak of moth? <laughs> he speaks them. <laughs> Very funny letter. No? <laughs> I feel, on waking up, I feel I am a moth and longing to move to the light huh? again. But the crocodile and 
crocodile is showing their teeth. <laughs> if you roar, if you roar, no crocodile will come near the lion. No crocodile, not even the mosquito. Let even mosquito come and sit on the lion's back. He doesn't mind, you see. Yeah. Yeah. Because you did not roar. You did not roar. That was the trouble. And then you did not make good use of this raft. That's what I speak. Uh, one roar is quite enough. And that is the use of this raft, one roar. And what is that roar? I am free. Come on. The lions roar and all the elephants and all the animals run away because he is now awake. <laughs> he will run after us for food. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> One roar is enough to terrify the forest, whole forest life, isn't it? And you can make best use of this roar, waking up or going to sleep any time I am free, you utter and tell me what happens. Any time you utter this roar. This is the roar, I am free. And you tell me what happens. Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, the dream was good. The dream has brought you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dream was excellent. Then don't dream further. <laughs> don't have further dream. No. Wake up now. Wake up now. Hmm. I am free. What do you lose if you say, I am free? What do you lose, first of all? No one says, I am free. Everybody is very happy. When he says, I am suffering, I am in trouble, and the friends are also very much contented with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I am also, I am also suffering. I am also suffering. Somebody tells, I am suffering. Yes, yes, I am also very much suffering. <laughs> and both of them, both of them sit down and have good satsang. <laughs> All those are very good friends who suffer. <laughs> who suffer become very good friends. <laughs> because they speak of suffering always. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, who true. says to speak on this? How did you attain this uh, freedom? How did you attain this freedom? Where did you go, my dear friend? How did you do it? They were two friends. <laughs> they decided to go to the forest. Both were very good friends. He says, no, no, it's not good to be together because we have previous habits of friendship. So let us go and let us sit apart from each other. Once in a week we meet and discuss about it. And then they were, one was sitting at one place, another maybe another ten miles away, and once in a week they will meet together. What austerities you have done, how much work you have done, what have you attained, they used to discuss with each other and tally their notes each time and then go away. Finally, one man got it, you see. One man got it. And he was very happy. He was very happy. Everybody was meditating, both of them, always spending more and more time in meditation, not sleeping. And one man, simply, one day, he was happy. The other friend comes, what gives you happiness? He said, something has happened last night. How did you get it? Because I was meditating, of course. We are here for the last six months. I have been working hard and you have been also been working hard. But then somehow, while meditating, I have found 
it was the mind that was troubling me at home and it is the mind that came here and it was the mind that had been now meditating. So how about this mind? Why not I try to sit quiet without the mind? This decision I made last time just for a trial. So I gave the association, I gave up the association previously with my family and everybody else because they were disturbing, distracting my peace. And now here in the forest we have been intimate friends. Still we have been distracting our peace and quietude. Therefore we agreed to separate ourselves. No? But now how about the company of the mind? This came <laughs> into my mind last night and I said, no, no, I will do it alone. The time I left the company of the mind, now you see, somehow something happened I cannot describe. It was wonderful, he said, sit down my dear friend, now I will tell you what has happened to me. You also give up this desire and hopes and give up the association of the mind entirely just for <coughs> few seconds. That's what it occurred to me and I did it. No? <laughs> you also do it. And this friend also listened to him. Both became very happy, returned home, spoke to their friends, to their wives, to children, friends. This is how it worked out. <laughs> yes. So it is the mind that is troubling you, isn't it? Yes. So when the mind is not there, in the sleep, mind is not there, you are always happy, isn't it? <coughs> now when the mind woke up, you become moth sometime, and then crocodile, and then all this. <laughs> all the crocodile is a mind, everything is mind. What you speak, what you see, what you hear is mind alone. You have to shun the company of the mind for some time and then you can play with no mind. You will be very well off with no mind. This elder brother of mind is no mind. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> You knock on my door, I wake up. Rushing to the door, am I dreaming? I can't see any door, not is there my beloved, and so much light. My love is befooling me, is causing me to see my beloved everywhere, to hear him every sound, Love, oh love, you make a fool out of me, a mad woman. I am love sick. I love is my sickness and my cure. There is a secret bar where secret wine is being served. No one knows. I found the way to this bar and I get intoxicated whenever I enter. I know the bartender, he has many faces, each one can see in him their own face. What is the putting in my drink? What is he putting in my drink that makes me so lost in love? 
my blessed, my sweet voice has led me here. And now I am too drunk to go away. You tempted me with your magic. And now I cannot return away. I am helplessly caught. I am happily and joyfully a prisoner of the sweetest sweetness. Hmm. Who gave you this address of this bar because nobody knows. <laughs> no one has ever known. Because other bars are known because you pay for it and then you go, you are pushed out of it and perhaps that will give you taste for five to six hours only. But this one taste of it, one touch of it and you can never get out of this intoxication and another. Every next moment, you will be twice intoxicated without any payment. You see. <laughs> this is the beauty of this intoxication and no one has ever known this address. This lane is very difficult where this bar is situated, very narrow. Very narrow. I give you the address. <laughs> Keep it a secret. I give you the address of this bar. Hmm? <laughs> and it is very narrow. Two abreast cannot walk on it. It is as sharp as a razor's edge. Very few daring people have walked on this. Not two abreast. Me two means you and your mind. Two cannot go there. It's very narrow, as I told you. you see, you have to go alone. Then I will give you the address. First of all, you have to come come to me alone, and then I will tell you how to walk on this. It's a sword's edge. Whosoever have gone there and they have no return because that is very beautiful. Nobody will take courage to return and why to return. <laughs> yes. So if you make up your mind, this girl who was here, she asked this similar way, you see. Similar way, you have not to think, and then perhaps you can walk on this without thought means aloneness. And when you think, you are with someone else. No past, no future. No mind, no senses. This is the main. This what I mean by walking alone on this thing. <coughs> then you will see a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 